D two D N Y Real World H V A C simplified. And now in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to download and install the Mitsubishi City Multi Maintenance or Service Tool. Okay. In this video, I'm going to be showing you step by step how to download and install it. So as you can see, it's on my computer right now, this computer. However, it's not on this computer. I'm going to do it on this computer from scratch. I'm going to show you step by step how to do it. Stay tuned. So the first thing you're going to want to do, you're going to want to open up your browser. Like you see here, I'm using Microsoft Edge. Open that up. And then you're going to type into the uh, URL screen, our, our, our bar. See right here is the bottom one, but not this one, this one up top here, where you put the URL. So we're going to go www.mymylinkdrive.com. See that? Simple, just that. Then I'm going to press enter. Boom. There it is. Right? So I'm on the site. So now I'm gonna go, go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and press click go to USA products. If you are in this region or these regions, you can click this side, but I don't think it makes a difference. There's a difference whenever it comes to the software or the tool. Probably over here, maybe you'll have different product product um, lineups and stuff like that but but i want to just come click us i think you, you could just do the same thing too or whatever right so i'm click go to us products right so now i'm here what we are here for is this softwares okay so this is the main screen all these are things you can get from the site you know information product support all that whatever i don't care about none of that right now this is why we're here software click on software and then what you're going to do, you're going to scroll down because what we're looking for is in the very bottom, right? Boom. Here it is right here. Mr. Bishi maintenance tool. And we're up to version 5.53. So we're going to click that. Okay. So now, once you click that, another screen opens up. It says maintenance tool up top. We're going to scroll down once again because it seems like Mr. Bishi loves the bottom. Um, there it is in the bottom. Click that. And it should be downloading, right? It says, well, Windows is now showing this. This setup can't be downloaded, but whatever. All right, so I'm going to go see more. This is this is a uh, antivirus from, from our Windows Defender. So, you know, if you got antivirus protection, firewall on your system, you might want to disable it. But I'm just going to simply... Click this, these little dots right here to the right. You can see I click that right here. And I'm going to just click keep. Because I know this is safe. Yeah, there's more warnings. Yeah, malicious malicious act, attackers may, whatever. I know this is safe because I've downloaded from this site several times. And I did type in my address, my web address, link drive, into the URL screen. So you should always do that. So I went there directly, so I'm good. Keep anyways, and it's going to download. It's going to be downloading right now. All right, so once it's downloaded, I'm going to click open file. Click open file, and there is a file. There it is right there. Okay. Now, this file right now is in a zip, zip format. It's in a zip format. So what you're going to have to do is uh, you're going to have to extract it, extract all of the files, right? Um, if when you click download, you don't get this exact screen, I'm going to show you where you could find the file which you have downloaded. So you simply, so you just click on, uh, click on uh, the Windows icon there, and then you want to just search, search, uh, just click file, type file. Explore, right, right here, this little thing right here. Let's click that, and then you're gonna click on Downloads, 
and there it is there it is so at this point you can just right click and then it's going to tell you to extract it I'm going to give you the option to extract the files because you have to extract it before you can install it extract all right here right so let's go back to where we were so yeah this is where we, this is where we left off so i'm going to click extract all and i'm just going to here you could literally choose where you want the extracted files to end up but um i'm just going to leave it right here in the same folder i won't change anything i'm just going to leave it on automatic and i'm just going to click next but you can choose your desktop or wherever you want if you're a savvy oh this is extract so I'm going to click extract right here, extract. And so it's extracting it, boom. Okay, put me right back to the same place. This is extracted folder. So I'm going to click on that, double click. And we have the drivers here, and this is your maintenance tool. So if you extracted it properly, when you click on the drivers, it should look something like this, right? You should see exactly what you see in here. These are the drivers. This is for a 64-bit system, and this is for the older Windows, like probably Windows 7 or, or, or older, or maybe older than previous predates Windows 7. But nonetheless, if you have the latest version of Microsoft, it's going to be this one. So let's see. Double-click that. Yeah. So we want to install our, all our drivers. You have to install the drivers, otherwise the tool won't, won't, won't be identified by your computer. So I'm like, yes, okay, and I'm only like install anyways, yeah, I, I, I know, you're warning me, but I am doing this, install, click install, all right, so you see what that process looks like, so that's that, my driver is installed, I'm going to go back, press the back arrow, and I'm going to click on the maintenance tool right now, okay, This is the software. So you're going to click on setup. And by the way, it's just a side note. Let me go back real quick. Go back. These drivers, these drivers, they are not, um, they are not, they are not Mr. Beach's, Mr. Beach's product. They are Windows products, right? Uh, I just think selecting. Come on, I don't want to install that close. No, no. I want come on, what is this thing doing? So what I want to show you, you see that? These are Microsoft products. So very much possible, even if you don't install the drivers, maybe these drivers are already in your computer. But um um you know if you if you for some reason you're plugging your tool and it doesn't work, your computer don't identify it. Then you, you, you then this might be the problem the drivers but we did some microsoft stuff uh this might just automatically once you plug the tool in it will just automatically download and install the drivers from the microsoft website if you're connected to the internet nonetheless let's continue so we're in setup let's double click that and we're going to install you could guess and we're installing baby so I'm going to just click next, simple, I'm not making it complicated, I'm making it simple. I'm going to click next again, and um, yeah, it started. Okay, it's that simple. Alright, so you said it was successful, if you did everything so far. I'm going to close this. Now, I, once I close this, I should have a link. Or a desktop icon on my on my home screen. Now my home screen is a little different, so yeah, my home screen is a little different. So uh, on your own home screen, it might it's not gonna look like mine, but it might, my my home screen home screen doesn't no, don't mind it. On your desktop or your home screen, you 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 will have it. See, there's the, there's the, there's the uh, the shortcut. Now, if you don't see it, you can always type it here maintenance tool and it will just find it for you windows will find it for you or locate it for you the shortcut for you so once you have the shortcut on your desktop or wherever you just simply click click it and it's going to ask you if you're seeing this that means you're you, you did well 
Saya klik yes. And yeah, there it is, baby. Now the next, the last thing I'm gonna do is plug in the tool just to make sure Windows recognize it. And that's the end of this install. Because once I once I open up maintenance tool, you know, on the on the uh, computer, we're gonna see that there's nothing connected. Then I'm gonna connect it, plug it into the USB. Okay, so I'm just gonna, if this is the first time, I'm just gonna leave it auto. I wanna see this again. All right, so um, don't show me this again. I'm just gonna, just gonna get to the meat. Okay, so right here, it doesn't show, it shows this is the older tool, not this one, because there's nothing connected to my computer or USB at all. So if, if you did good with your drivers and everything and everything is working, once you plug the tool in and, um, and um, then launch the maintenance tool, it will automatically pick up the tool and the COM ports for you. So let me exit. And I'm going to plug the tool in. Plug the tool in. So I'm plugged in. Okay, so there's my green light. So I'm plugged in. That says USB. A green light, green LED right there. Okay, so let's see if I could find it. I'm gonna go ahead and launch again. Make and install. Now, if everything is good, it's gonna find the tool, like automatically. So no, it did not find it. Right? It didn't. It didn't find it for some reason. I'm gonna see. It should have automatically gone on that. It didn't find it automatically. So let's just see. Let's just check and make sure that everything is good with our uh, with our um, tool okay okay so uh, let's just check and see if everything is good with your with our device and driver everything is communicating and if it is we'll have we know the tool is the this one pack whatever this number is so it's down here you click right here down here but we don't know what com port what com port it's on it says it doesn't even want us and we don't know what com port it's on right what com port so you're just gonna go here you're gonna type in uh just check it and everything is okay everything is okay you're gonna type in uh go to file explorer uh, File Explorer. Actually, no, not File Explorer. What am I talking about? Device Manager. You're going to type. Look for Device Manager, which is right there. You can type it in. It looks right here. And then you're just going to go to a. Uh, go to a uh, Ports and Com. And that. And then you're going to. This is it right here. So it's on Com Port Nine. You click on that. Then you can just go to uh, action, and then devices and printers, just to see if everything looks all right. So here it is. Here's a device. Here's that uh, this tool. And uh, yeah, it's if you see a a warning triangle with an explanation mark in the middle, um, uh, yeah, a yellow triangle. That means something is wrong. It's not. But it's, everything is good here. So we know our COM port is number nine. So we simply just gotta go back into our maintenance tool and just select COM port nine. There it is, uh, nine. That's it. You can select that, but we won't be able to connect to the system because obviously, you know, we have no, we have no, uh, you know, we're not, we're not, we're not connected to our Mnet, right? So it's gonna, you know, it's gonna give you this error. Okay, so that's pretty much where it's at as a video. Okay, 